Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am so excited today to film this video because this is going to be like an unboxing, a partial mukbang, it's going to be a try on haul, trying new makeup I've never tried before. It's going to be like four or five videos in one. So I have here this amazingly exciting box of goodies. I have no idea what's inside it. This was sent to me by the incredible Mel or Puffin's Wife is her channel. I will link her channel below and I will link her video opening my box down below as well. This box arrived like two days ago and it has taken every ounce of my control not to open it and look at what's inside because we decided basically that we wanted to send each other a box of stuff from our respective lands, our countries, our places, our homes that perhaps the other one would not be able to get their hands on or would certainly be very hard to get their hands on. Stuff that we wouldn't be able to have tried normally, something that we've never seen or heard of before and it is all in this box and I've no idea what is in there and it has been really really hard not to crack it open. Now I'm going to try and show you the box. I've just ripped the top open so that I can get in there easily but literally either her address or my address is on every single side of this box so I've ripped it off of one side just so I can literally show you this box. It's very exciting. My main fear is that everything in there is smashed or that Mel's box that I sent her is going to be smashed just tell you a little bit about Puffin's Wife or Mel. So I have been subscribed to Mel's channel as long as I've been on YouTube, way before I had my own channel and um, you know I've always been a big supporter of hers, always commented on her videos, we've kind of always chatted back and forth um, and then a couple of months ago she had her surgery, is it a couple of months ago? I think that's how long ago since we started talking about this um, and I just wanted to send her you know, like a care package, I guess. So this is where we came up with this idea to send us each other the stuff and do this video. Now, Mel is such an incredible YouTuber. She is so underrated. I don't know why she's so underrated. She just, her channel is everything I look for in a YouTube channel. She's an expert, she's a pro, she knows what she's talking about, she's very honest, you can trust her reviews, she gives us all the tea, she gets every single new product that you're interested in and reviews it before anybody else and she shows you everything that you want to know about each product, she is just amazing she's a very talented makeup artist but she does realistic makeup that you can kind of be like yeah I can kind of give that a go you know you know we have a lot in common she's a mum we both work we are also both trying to do this YouTube thing whenever we can and we're grafting at it and she is killing it I feel like the people who know about Puffin's wife rave about her but enough people do not know about her and we need to change that both of us had a little bit of drama when it came to these boxes. My main issue with putting my box together for Mel is that Mel can get any makeup brand. Like we were saying to each other, what brands can't you get that you've always wanted to try? And I was like, well, where do I start? Here's a hundred ideas for you. Whereas Mel was like, yeah, I can get it. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, I can get that. So I had to go for like the really sort of small or more obscure or indie brands that we have in the UK. Also, there are a couple of brands who release stuff here before the US. So I put in a couple of bits that will be available there, but they came here first. So without further ado, let's see what's in the box. Oh! oh. Please don't let anything be broken. Please don't let anything be broken. Everybody pray. Everybody say a little prayer for the box. Prayer for the box, please. Oh. Okay. Poppy paper. Keep the kids happy. Yes, it will. Keep them quiet for five minutes. <gasps> oh my God. There's been a leak. There's been a leak. There's been a leak, guys. Guys, there's been a leak. There's been a leak. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's all right. It's only a little bit. Don't panic, don't panic. It's just, so she sent me these CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundations and the lids have come off in the journey, but it's literally 
only a tiny bit. So that is actually a miracle. The lids came right off and there's only really a little bit of leakage. So yeah, the lids came off of these. So she sent me two shades. Both look like they'll be good, I think. I mean, well done girl, well done. P15 and M40, I mean, what does that mean? T and M. I don't know. <gasps> oh my God, milk duds. I have no idea what these are, no idea. But if you watch like any American TV shows, they always talking about milk duds, aren't they? And I've always wanted to know what they are. <gasps> oh my God, chocolate and caramel. Right, I'm fighting. Oh, that's chewy. Mmm. Oh, I'm too chewy for my kids. Too chewy. Will hurt their teeth, so. I don't mind. Mmm. Mmm. These remind me of something. What do those remind me of? We've got something similar. <gasps> oh my god, wet and wild and wild these are two of their contouring palettes two shades amazing oh it's got like a yellow powder now we have literally just got wet and wild in the uk on um beauty bay but i have not had a chance to pick anything up yet so this is very exciting how are these i'm impressed that these have survived so that'll be perfect for me in the winter, I'd say. It's maybe slightly light, that bronzer. So this is the bronzer shade in the deeper one. You can see it's just that little bit deeper. That's gonna be perfect for today. And back to the milk duds. It's already the best video I've ever done. I've got coffee and a whole pack of milk duds. And my husband's taking the kids to the park, so they don't even know there's chocolate here. Best day of my life. Video's gonna be three hours long. Hurry up, love. <sighs> oh my God. This is a Western Wild highlighter. It's called Golden Flower Crown. Look at that! Oh God. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. That is. Hmm. Wet and Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. Hmm. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. This is exciting because I've never tried anything from Wet n Wild. <sighs> oh my god. Colour pop. More poppy paper for the kiddies. Oh my god, I've never had anything from Colour Pop because you know what their shipping is so much to the UK. This is the dub Double Entendre Shadow Palette. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, Look at that. Wow. Rose Guard, I love that. <gasps> it's got all these names on the back as well. I've never seen anything from Colourpop in my hands, so that is pretty exciting. And a lipstick, Third Eye. <gasps> God, their packaging is so nice, isn't it? So affordable. Um, excuse me? One, sw one swipe. I feel like this is so good because we know each other so well because obviously we've watched each other's channels and it's like she's literally picked all my perfect shades, all the stuff that I love. Like, this is exciting. Oh, oh my God, what is that? A what? A whatchamacallit? Made with chocolate, peanut flavored crisps and caramel. Okay, we're gonna be cracking that open in a minute. Oh, bite beauty. Ah, oh, again, I've never tried anything from Bite Beauty. This got some of the foundation just on the outside. I can't believe nothing else so far is broken. This is a miracle. Oh, it's a lip gloss, is it? Or is it a, yeah, lip gloss. Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss Salted Caramel. Do you know how badly I wanted that to smell of salted caramel? Like, I've put on five kilos, we've only just started. Ooh, Sephora, now obviously, if you watch my recent videos. I can't ever get anything from Sephora ever again. So thank you, Mel. Oh, this looks nice. A blush, how do I get in here? I've never tried anything from Sephora. Obviously we don't have Sephora in the UK, but I've heard amazing things. Oh my God, literally 
exactly matches my top. How did she know? How did she know? That is quite out of my comfort zone. So I am really excited to try that. That is quite different for me. I mean, it says matte, but it looks really nice and luminous. Oh, I'm really excited to try that. It literally is the exact same color. Twins, we twins. Oh, the Snickers. We do actually have Snickers in the UK, but it's obviously a very American treat. This, my husband is gonna have this because this is his favorite. So I will share one thing. He can share one thing and it's the thing that I've already tried. Oh my God. Oh, the Kush Mascara from Milk. Again, I've never tried anything from Milk. Never been able to get it in the UK. I've heard amazing things about this mascara. So I am so excited. Oh, it's free. What? It's so heavy, it's like, it's made of steel. It's so cold, the packaging. Oh, I've heard really good things about this. Oh, that brush is right up my street. That is everything in the box. Thank you so much, Mel. This is so exciting. I love everything. I'm so excited to try all of this stuff. Lost the milk, Dad. So, without further ado, let's start trying some of this stuff out. So obviously I'm going first in with this ColourPop palette. Oh, I'm very excited. And I'm gonna basically, I think, just go straight across these middle shades. These are speaking to me. Maybe I'll touch into this one and I'll use like this on my brow bone or maybe this one. We'll see, so I'm going in with this shade really reminds me of max soft brown oh and you know pressing in there there's a little bit of kick up which is a good sign as far as pigment look at that it's so exciting just to have someone else like pick your makeup for you who obviously knows these brands and knows what's good and what the highlights like from each brand is, is really exciting. Like someone who like knows your taste, you know. Have you seen the pigment on that? I literally dipped, like I didn't swirl, I literally tapped my brush in like I'm using Anastasia shadows and basically that's covered my whole eye. Impressive Colourpop. I see what the big deal is. Do you know what, it's so nice today to have something really nice and exciting and happy like this to film because if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that yesterday I had a really nasty message from somebody on my YouTube telling me how ugly I was. If you like phases when I have these types of comments, I'm just using that next shade long, um, because I kind of, it's a bit like a sort of, you know, stages of grief or whatever. Like I'll, initially I'm like, Ugh. someone's actually written that about me. Fuck. Then sometimes I think it's quite funny, depending on you know what they've written. Sometimes not funny at all, but sometimes if it's really extreme, it, it can be quite funny when you take it in the context. You know, that some Wally has written this, and then I tend to like sort of it starts to like affect you know worm its way into my brain, and I start to question it. Does everyone feel like this? You know, is this what people think of me? Like you know, I start to have like doubt, like self-doubt. And literally all of that happens in about five minutes. That's like what my brain does. It just processes all of these random emotions. So it kind of stirs up when people say vile things to you. I'm so impressed with these shadows. It's for such a flipping affordable brand. Like you wouldn't know that this wasn't an Anastasia palette. I'm kind of torn between like this shade here, which is like a rose gold and then this bronze shade. I'm gonna go with the rose gold, I think. Let's see what the, f whoa! Oh, I was about to say, let's see what these foils are like. My God, okay. No need for Fix Plus here. It's a good palette for travel, like I'm gonna take this anywhere I go. I mean, I never go anywhere, but if I did, it'd go somewhere, I'd take this with me. Maybe at Christmas when I go to my mum and dad's. Do you see that? I feel like this for an affordable palette, quite a lot of the time when I pick up affordable or drugstore palettes my complaint is they don't really make cohesive looks but this palette just gives you so many options like you could go anywhere in there 
and they're gonna all work together perfectly. I'm just going to maybe take this shade up here, this sort of yellowy shade and take it under my brow. Brighten that bad boy up a little bit. Oh, that's done the trick, hasn't it? Wow. It's got everything in here. Brow bone highlights, it's got like a few brow bone highlights. It's got inner corner pops, lid shade, mattes. I think that's again, sort of generally the high street drugstore brands that we have in the UK that their eyeshadow palettes. My complaints are like, they're all shimmers, or there's not enough mattes, there's not enough combinations, but this is such a good palette. 12 shades, so many options. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try this one out now. Very excited. Ooh, 30% less fat than the average leading chocolate brand, this Milk Dud say. What am I gonna do if I end up with a Milk Dud addiction? It's gonna be an expensive hobby. Wow, okay. Very volumizing. And it's giving me like a lot of lift, you know, a lot of lift. God, the wand is so flipping cold. What is it made of? It's like steel or something. And it's so weighty. I'm gonna come back to that in a minute for a second coat. Just gonna prime quickly with my Fenty primer. I did watch Mel's review of this foundation. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. Oh, it says Warm Nude. And this is Golden Honey. I mean, literally, if I was to pick two shades online based on those descriptions, these are the two shades I've, I'd have picked. She knows me well. Like, this darker shade is a bit warmer. It's gonna probably work better to match my body. I could even literally mix them together and I bet that would give me a perfect match. I think I'm gonna go with the darker shade, which is the Golden Honey. I hope it doesn't oxidize. But if it does, you know, we can all have a good laugh together at my expense. It is very, very matte, this foundation. I remember from Mel's review, which is not generally what I go for, because you know I've got normal skin, I love a luminous finish. This is ridiculous, and this is why we rely on Mel's opinion, because from one million miles away, she's literally sent me my perfect match foundation. Pay the bills, Mel. Skills to pay those bills. I mean, the coverage is amazing and it looks very smooth. Obviously it's gonna dry down quite matte, which is where I might start freaking out. But so far, the coverage is very good. I'm just gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer because we don't have a concealer to try. For any of you who watch Mel's channel, like me, religiously. She, in real life, is ex everything you would want her to be. You know, she's supportive. She's a real, like, woman's woman, do you know what I mean? Although not necessarily someone that you would particularly have down as being like a girly girl. Like, you know, she gets her boots and her helmet on and she goes ride, riding motorbikes all day and she's a flipping kick-ass role model. But she is just such a big supporter of women and there's no like, com like competitive sort of feeling from her. She's just wanting to help people out and give people advice and support other people like me. And I just think that is such an incredible quality to have. And as much as you might see people on YouTube and think, you know, is this really what they're like in real life? You know, are they this person or is this like the image they portray? She is exactly what you see. This really inspires me, you know, sometimes you see people and they're like, oh, you know, I couldn't post or I didn't have time this week to upload. And she is just non-stop uploading. She works full time. She's had major surgery and she's been like, you know, recovering from, she's got kids, she's got a husband, you know, she's got all these responsibilities and yet she uploads so consistently, so constantly. She pre-uploaded all her videos so that she didn't miss an upload while she was having her surgery. She is just amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into this um, Wet n Wild contour palette. So this is the shade Caramel Toffee. It's so good for a drugstore brand to have like multiple contour shades. That is impressive. 
I feel like this darker palette is warmer than the lighter palette, which is ideal for me. Because I do prefer like a cooler contour in the winter when I'm lighter. Whereas when I get more tan because I get so warm, a too cool contour can look strange. This is really nice. It's blending so nicely. It's so pigmented, but not like, you know, I'm putting it on and it's, you know, caused me a problem. Like my Morphe Brontour can almost be too pigmented. Like I have to be very careful with it. This is like letting me build it up nicely, but it's really, it's there, you know? That is really nice. That looks so nice. Love that. Foundation now has gone completely matte, by the way. Completely matte. She was not wrong. She was not wrong. <gasps> I forgot my watch, I call it. Oh my God, crack this open. This thing is huge. <gasps> oh, oh. It looks a bit like a protein bar. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a mix between a Rice Krispie tweet, treat, not a tweet. A Rice Krispie tweet, a little bit peanutty. Can you see inside it's got like, mm. oh yeah, oh yeah. Another day of the crisp mascara. I don't actually know anything about this mascara because obviously can't get it here, so I've never sort of bothered to read about it. But it's really giving me a lot of lift, but it's not sort of giving me much length. Like with me and my lashes, I'm like the bigger the better. I don't want them to look natural necessarily. The, this is a bit fluffier, but lots of lift. So if that's what you're going for, a lot of lift your lashes. Okay, let's try this. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighter and it's the shade Golden Flower Crown. Mm. I'm excited to try, Oh, I mean, it looks so pretty. <gasps> that is so perfect for my skin tone at the moment as well. Like it's not, you know, sitting on the skin. It's really melting in and looking just wet. It's so good that actually if you're watching this as well that you can actually get this now in the UK because it's on Beauty Bay now. Highly recommend all the Wet n Wild stuff I've tried so far. It's so impressed me. So affordable. This is crazy. Look at that. Flippin' heck. What? Put a little bit of that. Oh, let's actually just finish off my eyes. Go back into the... Colourpop palette. I'm just gonna take a mixture of the two middle shades I used earlier. And my lash line. Cover up them wrinkles. Take this lightest shimmer shade down here in my inner corners. Oh yeah. So it literally has everything in this palette. This is amazing. I'll put a little bit of this like top shimmer shade as well under my brow. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And now for this blush from Sephora. So this is Sweet On You number five. So I am really scared about this blush. I don't know if she's done this to me on purpose because this is like scary, this look in this blush. This is Sweet On You number five, by the way. Oh my God. <laughs> Is gonna happen. Oh, okay, okay, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay, for you. Okay, for you. Do not on the cheek. That is so nice. Wow, you have to go with a really light hand though. I'm pressing this in, and you can see there's so much on my brush. So tap off. Oh, I feel better now. That looks so nice. It literally matches my top, that's so funny. Never have picked this up, never. It, Cause it looks so pink. It's more, it is more coral when you see it next to my, obviously my top is coral. And that is kind of more my thing. I don't have a single pink blush and this looks really pink, but when you put it on the cheeks, 
it is translating more coral and it's not as extreme as it looks in the pan. That's so sweet. Oh, that's really pretty. Why is this cheek more blush than this one? I swear I've put five times more on this side. Now we go, there we go. Oh my God, there is like no duds in here, you guys, no duds. Oh, I haven't done my lower lash mascara. A quick spray of the Wet n Wild. Do you know what, when I first sprayed it earlier, it looked quite wet, like there was quite big droplets, but then I just did a tester over there and I think it was just that first spray. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay. That is wet. Wow. I'm, wow. That was wet. I was, you, the shock was real. I will say that was a forceful spray but no big droplets like look at my skin there's no splodges it hasn't left splodges it soaked me with two sprays that was like 20 sprays of fixed blush you know normally you're like <laughs> literally one or two of this got my whole face in one wow i was not ready that is effective you're not going to hardly use any of that literally two sprays i'm soaked and that mascara has smudged everywhere. Really excited to try this lippy. Again, the shade looks right up my street. So this is the shade Third Eye. Really creamy. So much, it, it matches my nails. Like, it's like she's spying on me. What's she doing? Mel? So good. I'm loving this, because this is all stuff that obviously I'd never have been able to get if Mel hadn't sent it to me but it's obviously a lot of it is stuff that I would never have tried because it's so different from what I normally would pick up because it's quite kind of out of my comfort zone but it all looks amazing so this is that salted caramel gloss from Bite Beauty I put that over the top and that is everything this is the finished look I'm so sad I want to do this all over again that was like literally the most excited I've ever been for a video. This was so much fun. Oh my God. Why don't we have these? Of course, before you go, do not forget to check out Mel's video, which will be linked down below. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to Mel, of course, for partnering with me on this and for sending me all this amazing stuff to try. I'm assuming that you realize that you're gonna have to send me like a lifetime supply of milk duds and whatchamacallits, right? I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe before you go so I can see you again. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.